Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on this episode, I wanted to answer a great question from a viewer. His name is Scott Danielson, 4816, uh, and it has everything to do with budgetary concerns when it comes to buying electronics. And he asks, can you please comment for us weekend anglers on a smaller budget about how one graph up front would work? I know two or even three would be ideal, but could a guy get by with one up front and still be able to use active target and down scan mapping? I have a ghost and a 12 inch graph, but have not gotten them installed yet. Am I going to struggle with only having one 12 inch screen up front? Great question. Thank you very much, Scott, for that. This is this is something that that I've actually I try to talk about whenever possible because nowadays, you know, a lot of people that that watch professional angling, they see all of us who are or fishing, you know, tournaments, trying to make a living on the tournament circuit, fishing with all these great electronics. Okay, so we've got uh, on my system here, which I've uh, this was installed this year by BassBoatElectronics.com. Uh, I started exclusively working with Lowrance, and I absolutely love the system. It is awesome. It has two uh, HDS Pros, uh, 12 Pros on the front, two at the, the console. We've got two uh, different uh, transducers on the back, actually three transducers on the back. We've got a 3-in-1, and then we've got the 3-in-1 uh, HD, and then we've got, uh, you know, the uh, Ghost Troll motor, two active target twos on there this is state of the art um this is a state of the art setup right and it is expensive it is very pricey and and honestly it's not the system that i i necessarily recommend for weekend anglers you don't want to go if if you have a very generous budget right you could buy this and you'd be very, very happy with it. The reason why professional anglers and, and you know, high level tournament anglers use, have this type of setup is because we're trying to compete against other guys that have similar setups. Now, I'd say to, uh, you know, that, that a lot of that is, uh, is not all that important, honestly. You know, I could still go out there with my skill set and compete with one graph on the front and one graph on the console, just the way that I like to fish. I like the shallow water power fish. Uh, although it's harder nowadays uh, to compete against guys that are out, you know, learning these new uh, approaches to to tournament fishing with with you know active target two and forward facing sonar in general. Uh, I'm still very relevant you know, fishing the bank and fishing shallow and covering water and, and, uh, you know, just, just, um, you know, doing my shallow water power fishing thing. Uh, but it is harder to get top tens. It's harder to get in position to win. No doubt about that at all. Uh, but, um, you know, I could, I could definitely downgrade and be just fine, but I'm trying to learn this new technology. I'm trying to learn forward facing sonar and get better at it. And, uh, and I see a lot of, of weekend anglers um, uh, really fall into the trap of thinking that they need all of, uh, you know, the, the full four or five uh, graph system um, along with, you know, a trolling motor like the Ghost. The Ghost is something I recommend for, you know, anybody with a bass boat. It's a great trolling motor and just having anchor mode, that's an investment that I highly suggest getting uh, compared to just an old traditional cable steer. You just completely, it, it changes the game, you know. Um, but as far as the uh, the graphs, I don't think that every every person needs to get this type of system. So anyways, the short answer to your question, Scott, is uh, absolutely. You can get away with having one graph on the front, even if you're using a uh, forward facing sonar like Active Target 2. You're not going to get the same size image, obviously. And so it's going to be a little bit uh, more frustrating. Uh, frustrating is maybe not the term, but it's just not going to be as good of an experience as having two graphs. But that does not mean that you have to get a second graph just because, you know, it's just not optimal, right? Um, it just means that you have to make some concessions, uh, you know, according to your budget. And that's totally fine. But I do have a suggestion for you, a couple suggestions when it comes to using one graph for Active Target 2, uh, some type of other sonar and mapping. And I'm going to show you right now. 
So Lowrance makes it super easy to customize your unit to, to really allow you to get a lot of, of uh, functional you know, uh, space out of different windows. And so here we are on the pages uh, section here. We're gonna create our own page. And what we're gonna do is, you said you wanted to add chart. Uh, I'm gonna add sonar. I'm gonna tell you why I, I, I think you should do sonar instead of down scan. And then we're gonna add act target. Okay, the biggest key, if you're gonna use one screen and have it split in three different ways like this, is that with active target, you wanna be as big as possible. So we're not gonna do this, okay? We're actually gonna choose this right here, go down to this one that has a really wide, uh, you know, screen on the bottom, wide window on the bottom, and we're gonna move active target into that, okay? So this is the general screen, and so we're gonna go to that. We're going to take away that sidebar, um, it, you know, it's always good to, to have that auto disappear so you're not taking up some of your screen. Um, so anyways, uh, the biggest key to, to, to uh, forward-facing sonar is you want as much space as possible, especially width, but you also do want height as well because there's a lot of things that you want to see and you don't want to be squinting or, or, you know, getting a hunchback trying to see it. So another thing that we can do is adjust the splits like this. So what I'm gonna do is, we don't need much space uh, for 2D sonar, right? There's not a whole lot of space that, that 2D sonar needs to take up to get uh, good information from that. All right, mapping, a little bit more. We want a little bit wider, uh, you know, wider uh, window there, all right? So let's, you know, you may adjust this a little bit, but in general, now you have this nice wide you know, full width of the screen uh, window for Active Target 2. And then you've got a smaller window for, for 2D sonar. You get a real quick glance at, at the depth and, you know, uh, you know, grass and all kinds of stuff that you'd want to see on 2D sonar. And then you have a wider uh, window for uh, your mapping, okay? This, to me, would be the way that I would set up my, my page, um, now let's talk about the reason why I chose 2D sonar and I recommend 2D sonar for this situation over downscan. And the reason for that is, uh, downscan is really, really good technology for target separation, for, for, you know, getting higher detail. It has a higher frequency overall. Um, but so does, uh, active target. Active Target and Active Target 2, very high frequency array. Uh, it has, you know, it, it does a lot of the things that, that Downscan does, but it's in real time and it's just overall better. And, uh, and when you're at the bow, you can use your forward facing sonar as Downscan because it still covers a lot of the same, um, you know, a lot of the same, uh, you know, part of the water column that downscan would. And so I don't think that, I think it, it would be very redundant and kind of a waste of space on your screen to use downscan in coordination with uh, Active Target 2. That's just my opinion. But 2D sonar is still very important, especially when you venture into shallower water. 2D sonar is gonna be able to give you the, the, the picture of how deep it is. It's always harder to tell how deep you are with with forward facing sonar in really shallow water. It's just not as easy to get that real quick glance like, oh, we're in two and a half feet of water uh, on on active target. It's easier on 2D sonar. So that's the reason why I like 2D sonar. And it's also a really good sonar for just looking at it real quick and seeing that there's something there that you might want to explore more. So that's why I would just leave down scan completely off of the the uh, that screen but that's just my personal preference so anyways I guess the 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 whole point of this video is to emphasize that if it's not in your budget to get four or five graphs uh, along with the power poles along with you know an expensive mercury engine and and a ghost troll motor and all this different stuff that is great and awesome that I wish everybody could could afford don't fret. You can still go out there, compete in, in local, regional tournaments, even national level tournaments, as long as that's your skill set, you know, where you're not utilizing electronics as much. You can do that on pretty much any budget. My goal 
on this channel is to keep you excited about fishing, but keep you uh, keep you from going into bankruptcy so you can keep going fishing and keep learning about fishing and, and just enjoy this sport. So hopefully this, this uh, video answered your question and answered many other people's questions about, uh, you know, uh, you know, having a smaller budget and getting your electronics. If you're interested in, in really designing the perfect electronic system for you based on your needs, your fishing style and all that, I really urge you to go to BassBoatElectronics.com. My boy Jason and the whole team there at BBE is amazing. They do uh, professional installations as professional as they get. And they also just really good at guiding you through uh, the different units, the different brands, and and helping you, uh, you know, uh, f come up with the best system for your needs. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Scott Danielson, for that question. And I'm going to see you guys out on the water. Make sure you drop any comments that you have if you have any questions. And also, trust the process. See you guys.